much for watching. In today's video, my boyfriend and I, which if you don't know him, this is Frankie. We're going to be carving some pumpkins. I asked you guys on my Instagram yesterday and my YouTube community post what you guys wanted to see and it was between this video and the apartment tour. So if you did vote for the apartment tour, don't worry because I am going to be uploading it next week. But since I just got these yesterday and I couldn't wait to carve them, I thought I would show you guys what we come up with. I picked up a bunch of stuff at Target and Dollar Tree. We just have this pumpkin carving kit. And I didn't even realize at the time that I bought them, they already had stencils that came with them on the back. But as you guys can see, these are like pretty intricate stencils. I also got this kit from Dollar Tree. This one just has some of the carving tools. And then the stencils that this one comes with are a little bit easier to follow. We got our bowls for the pumpkin seeds and the guts as well. I think Frankie wants to save the seeds and then bake them after with some salt. Of course, we gotta have some tea light candles so that way we can light the pumpkins up at the end. And then last but not least, what I'm most excited about are these gemstone stickers. I don't think Frankie's gonna be using these, but you guys know I love glam, so I think I'm gonna put some on in my pumpkin. I just have these gold ones and I got these red ones as well, just so it's like orange, red, and gold fall vibes. So yeah, let's get started. So I think the first thing that we have to do is obviously cut off the top and I guess just take the guts out. I think that's like the hardest part of this. I feel like these knives look so little. I wonder if they're gonna be able to cut through this pumpkin. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like bigger than the size of my head. This is a big pumpkin. <laughs> Yours is even bigger. That's a big pumpkin. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're just going right for it. Let me see if this even does anything. Why are you so good at this? <laughs> <laughs> you got some anger in that. This one's way better, that's why. I know, I feel like this one is like for kids. Yeah. And like the little pumpkins. Little pumpkins. Not a big pumpkin. You're gonna go fast. Wow, that looks so gross. Ew, it looks weird. Meanwhile, I'm just here struggling with mine. Not making any progress. This is a big pumpkin. Here's a bigger one. Oh, you're this done. This one's with way it. better. Yeah. You should be careful, it's pretty sharp. Oh, wow, this one's way better already. <laughs> That was gross. Pumpkin guts. pumpkin guts. Let's see how much damage I can make with this little. I don't think any. This little oh, slipper. Both of our pumpkins are finally all gutted. This is what mine looks like inside. There's like one or two seeds left, but I think I'll be okay. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out what stencil I want to use. Frankie's gonna use this one, which is just like the traditional jack-o'-lantern face. I'm just in the mood to go bigger or go home, so I think I'm gonna do the trick-or-treat design. It does look like it's gonna be a little time-consuming, but why not? This is what it looks like. I was thinking with the light inside, it would look so cool. And then I could put like the bedazzles all the way around where the dots are. And I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I'm going to try my best. Stencil. Yeah, I don't need a stencil. I'm gonna do my own thing. I don't need a stencil. I'm gonna do my own thing. What? What are you gonna do? I'm just gonna write trick or treat and figure it out. Bro, good luck with that. So I got the holes in the circle all out. I'll admit they don't look as nice as I had hoped, but I might try to fix them up later, but I want to move on to the wording now. What the? Bruh, you thought you were going to be able to do that without a freaking stencil, Selena? 
I don't know what I was thinking, but this is not it. What did you think you were? Like just a visionary? Yeah. You can visionary? Alright, I can save this. Good luck. We're ditching the trick or treat. Just turn it around and make it <laughs> Start on. over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, no. You guys, this is coming to be the worst pumpkin ever. Yours looks actually really good. Show them so far what you have. Who knew Frankie was a professional pumpkin carver? Like, <laughs> I'm thinking since I already have circles going down, I'm just gonna carve it out and make a mouth. Two thousand years later. Actually, isn't looking too bad. Music. Got the smile coming oh, yeah. along pretty well. Yeah. All right, so my pumpkin is almost done. This is what she looks like all carved. We took a couple of wrong turns. I tried to do it without the stencil and that did not work out. So I just did like a traditional jack-o'-lantern face like Frankie has going on. Don't mind the holes in her forehead. That was a mistake. Hopefully these rhinestones can help out a bit, but I'm probably just gonna put these like everywhere. She's looking better already. <laughs> look at it. It actually doesn't look too bad. It looks better. She looks cute. I mean, this is pretty much just proof that a little bit of rhinestones can make anything pretty. She's got some lashes, she's got some red lipstick, and now we're gonna light them up. Got these from the dollar store, so I'm not sure how long they're gonna last. <laughs> Hopefully a little while. I'll just put both in, right? Mm -hmm. Are you putting both? Wow! These actually came out a lot better than I thought they would. And I actually like the candles a lot because they flicker, so it almost looks like we have real candles in there. So that is it for this video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. We had so much fun, as hard as it was, making these pumpkins. Comment down below which one was your favorite. Cough, cough. I mean, you better say mine. Who could say no to bedazzles? But if you vote for Frankie, that's all right, too. And, of course, thank you to Frankie for agreeing to come on my channel. It's always a struggle to get him on here. And then, most importantly, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can see new videos from me every single week. That being said, I love you guys. I hope you're having an amazing fall and spooky season. I love you guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Happy Halloween!